It's that time again, let's go. Hey guys, it's Mandy, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I have a massive Sephora haul for you guys. I went to Sephora and also Nordstrom just because not everything is available in Sephora, like some Mac stuff. Um, but I purchased so many new products, things that have been really hyped up. We're gonna swatch, we're gonna have fun. Also in this video, I am going to show you a very revolutionary Clinique skincare product. I am so excited to share this with you. This video is sponsored by Clinique, which is to me amazing because they're a brand that I have looked up to for so long and they are really, really near and dear to my heart. So I'm gonna show you that very, very soon and then we're just gonna jump into all of the other amazing products that I don't know you guys I was in the Sephora and Nordstrom probably for like six hours so let's go so here's the product that I've teamed up with Clinique to share with you guys this is the Clinique fresh press daily booster with pure vitamin C it's a little package it's so cute and the reason this product is revolutionary in my opinion is because this product is only going to last you seven days. The purpose of that is to keep the vitamin C fresh at its optimal freshness so it can actually give you really, really great results. And you can see them very quickly and in seven days. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to stop using this after seven days. You can buy another one and keep purchasing it. But the reason they have to do this is because we all know, I know you guys know, that vitamin C isn't something that you want sitting on your counter for a long time. You want it to stay fresh. So this is why I think this product is so, so great. And I'm so happy that something like this is on the market. So the first time you purchase this product in the first seven days you will see that your skin is retexturized it is smoother it also is going to brighten your complexion make it look more healthy and also it's going to even out your complexion I'm gonna show you how to use this product because it's pretty cool and I'm gonna show you how to mix it in with your moisturizer so let's do that now so I actually ran out of mine <laughs> You're gonna laugh. Um, so last night I did open this already. We're gonna pretend it's not opened. There you go. Um, so this is what it looks like once it comes out of the box. It's really, really cute, really clean, very modern. And it has this piece of foil that I kept to show you guys. That's what it looks like. So what you're gonna wanna do before you remove the foil is right here it has a place to put the date when you open the product so you know when the first day is through the seventh day. So after that, that's what the product looks like. You're gonna remove this foil. Let's pretend it was there. And then you're gonna press down here twice. One, two. And it's gonna be a firm press down. Then you're gonna shake for 15 seconds. Then you're gonna take your moisturizer. I use the Clinique Smart Day SPF 15 moisturizer. It's right over here. Um, so you're gonna pick a little bit of that up, just like so. So then you're gonna open this and put two drops in. You just press the top like, ooh, that was two already. And just mix it together. And then you just put it straight on your clean skin. I just wasted a ton of product demonstrating this for you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. So as I said, I always pick these up at Nordstrom. Um, this one I picked up yesterday with everything else so let's jump into the other things but if you are interested definitely stop by a Nordstrom I think it's a great place to purchase these okay so of course I picked up more beauty blenders if you guys love your beauty blends blenders blenders I've realized that if you buy the nude one and you have a foundation shade similar to this so you're kind of my skin color you don't have to, you know, get worried when it stains. Sometimes with the pink ones, I get foundation on them and then I wash it and wash it and wash it and not everything comes off. And I know it's clean because I just spent 20 tons of soap trying to clean it, but it doesn't look new. Okay, so if you don't know, I feel like everyone knows this, Marc Jacobs is behind the coconut collection. It was sold out for so long, it drove me crazy because I never got my hands on it and everyone was saying it was amazing. So obviously Kylie used this in her recent Vogue video. So I'm really curious to mix this in with my foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops Coconut Gel Highlighter. So she, took this and she just mixed it straight into her foundation. This is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. Let's open it up so we can see what the consistency is. And obviously she looked amazing. So I actually do wanna try it. It would also be a beautiful highlighter. This is really, really nice. And there's no glitter in it. There's no big particles. So actually this is a highlighter. I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I also picked up the 
eyeshadow palette and I know some of you have tried this. So let me know your thoughts. This swatched out really well in the store. Obviously with mattes, it's a little bit hard to tell. Um, so I'm excited to try the mattes. This is what it looks like. I love the packaging. Also very sleek and clean. I told you guys I'm into that. Um, so this is also so travel friendly. This is what it looks like inside. And let's open it up. That is what it looks like. And I am so into pinks if you know me. <laughs> okay, so I got more coconut collection products. I won't spend too much time on this, but I got their setting powder. Will this work or not? I don't know. I'm scared. I always get a little bit nervous when trying a setting powder because it's either going to go really well or it's going to just be terrifying and there's going to be wrinkles everywhere. Um, so this is supposed to be invisible. Have you guys tried it? Let me know. Also, what do you guys think of the Patrick Star um, in MAC powder? I really want to know people's opinions on that outside of the beauty community on YouTube. Next up, I got, this is from Nordstrom, the MAC Prep and Prime. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed today. Okay, so I got the pink one. You know how they put shimmer into their Fix Pluses now? Um, so there's a gold one and a pink one. If you are a similar color to me, this pink one doesn't really show up apparently. I don't know, that's what she told me. But if you have the gold one, it is pretty intense, you guys. I thought with the gold, I could spray it on my face and you wouldn't be able to tell, but you can definitely tell. So I think the gold one is more for just fun if you wanna spray it on your face or you can spray it on your body and it's gonna look really, really pretty. So this pink one, I feel like I'm gonna be able to get away with um, for my face. It's so pretty, I love the opalescence in this. Up next, by Beauty, you guys know I'm such a big fan of their lipsticks. This one is a newer color. It is called Lit Turmeric. I got it right. And this color, when I saw it in store, I, I almost died. It is so pretty and so unique, yet very, very wearable. And honestly, you guys, if you're going somewhere where you're gonna be in a lot of photos, OOTDs, selfies, this color is going to make you look amazing and it's gonna make the whole photo just pop. So next up, we have another lip product and this is something I love. Like I am so passionate about this product. So this is called Rose Water Pop. This is by Clinique. It's called their Clinique Pop Splash Lip Gloss Plus Hydration. It is such a beautiful color and it's such a good product. I recommend it to all of my friends and I basically, I don't know, I feel like all my friends have it now because I've been so <laughs> into this product. So this is the most perfect shade of pink, like literally perfect. So fresh, so feminine, so stunning. And it also has gold flakes in it. And the gold flakes aren't like a, I don't know, like a subtle ant kind of flake. It's just really, really beautiful. Like when the sun hits this and you're wearing it on your lips in the daytime, I just, it makes you look so good and you get so many compliments. This you can wear as a lip topper or you can wear it alone. So this is what it looks like. So you can't see the gold shimmer in there right now because if it's just, you know, hanging out without the sun hitting it or intense light hitting it, it just looks like a beautiful, rosy, stunning pink. But then if the sun hits it, it just, it shines. It shines, you guys. So I really love this and I wanna show you because I bought a Sephora lipstick. I want to show you what this looks like over that. Sephora has lipsticks now. Did you guys know that? I am excited for this. So this is number six. Um, this is what it looks like. So this part's plastic and then everything else is cardboard. This is a really, really pretty shade of nude where it's not too nude, where it's going to wash you out. I don't know if you guys can see that. See, hopefully this doesn't wash me out. Um, but I think that's a really, really nice nude. And again, it has a little bit of rosiness to it, which I think in the summer is absolutely stunning. So let me put this on top because I just want you guys to see. That's what it looks like. It just adds a little bit more of a rosiness and it plumps your lips. So yes. Okay, I also picked up two more Natasha Denona products. As you guys know, if you followed me on Instagram, when I ordered these for the first time, they came completely shattered and it was sad because these are not that cheap to produce. There is again, really, really heavy duty packaging behind this that isn't super cheap. So here is their diamond and blush 
palette. So this is the citrus one and it's so stunning to look at those colors, that yellow. I love to see a color where you're just like, does that belong in there? But it just still looks good and you can make it work. I feel like we're in the stage of makeup where things are more experimental, they're more for fun, um, they're more for self-expression. It doesn't have to be so safe anymore. So this is the number one palette and this is for lighter skin tones, I believe. So that's what it looks like. So if you have a darker skin tone, you're supposed to use the other one. But honestly, I feel like I'm gonna end up using both and I'm just, I don't know, I'm so excited for these. Okay, so I picked up the infamous um, Omega Bronze. This is the perfect coconut tan, apparently. And this is what it looks like. I have not tried this. I feel like I'm the last person on earth to try this, which is so funny because I feel like for a while, I was the first person to try everything and I'm gonna go back to that. So I feel like this would work. I honestly could go darker. I like a good, strong contour. I do have more products, but I feel like this video is gonna be way too long. I did spend, I don't even wanna tell you guys how much I spent. The last thing is this Lancome Shimmering Buff Highlighter. It's in 01 and this just looked gorgeous to me. So see that? It's so intense and so soft. It really reminds me of a wet highlighter. And a lot of people have been complaining to me that a lot of highlighters are kind of glittery and chunky where it doesn't look natural. Well, I just built this up so much. So this is like three layers. Let me just do one layer. This is one layer. That's still pretty intense. But if you want it just a little bit, you can just pick up a small amount with your brush. But a lot of people have been complaining to me that highlighters are too chunky, too, like the glitter chunks are too visible, so it looks funny on. I mean, honestly, I love a good chunky highlighter sometimes, but other times if you have like a meeting or something important and you wanna look more natural, something like this is perfect because it doesn't look like you're really wearing anything. If you keep the application minimal, like don't go as intense as I did that first round. And I love the mirror in this. It is a massive mirror and it's just a really nice product. I'm gonna apply the highlighter now. I don't have my um, ABH highlighter brush that I really like, so I'm just gonna go in with this small eyeshadow brush and hope for the best. Do you guys see that? It's so pretty. I think this would be perfect if you just dipped in with your finger just a little bit and just tapped it on. You could also try this with a wet beauty blender. Just make sure that the beauty blender is completely clean because this highlighter is so nice. You don't want to just destroy it with a dirty beauty blender. Okay, so I threw my hair even more to this side. At least it adds some volume. <laughs> okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you to Clinique for allowing me to share this amazing product with you guys. and. I am so confident you guys are gonna absolutely love it. And I'm so happy that there's something like this on the market. Where is it? I just, I can't right now. I love it. Let me know if you guys try it out. Always DM me, I read all of my DMs and I try to respond to as many of you as possible. Make sure to subscribe if you are new here and hit that notification bell. Join the fam and also follow me on Instagram because I don't know, I wanna see you there. Okay. Love you guys so much. Have an amazing rest of the day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.